Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Mike, KO4PDI. We're in my garage, right in front of my Parks on the Air sign, uh, flag. A little information for you, the JCP12, I'm doing a video on that right now. Uh, I give it a, it's a pretty good antenna, it comes in a nice case like this. I will show you what it looks like on the inside. Now it does not come with any coax, but we all got coax coming out of our ears. This is the entire antenna right here. Everything is right there, but I'm going to show you something that you're not going to get from the customer, from the uh, owners of this company. This little piece right here, this piece screws on to the ground spike. This is the ground spike, and this is this piece it screws onto. This is the bottom. This screws in here. This piece here is solid metal. This is machined metal, this little bottom part right here. I'm going to show you something. This piece here is just a tube. And this is where you screw in the rest of the masts and then eventually the whip. The problem is, on the back of this SO239 was a cold solder joint. This was in the ground. This is in there pretty snug. I'm going to pull it out just to show you. This is just a plastic piece stuck into a pipe. And you can see how that is. This wire is mine. I put this wire on. The wire that had been on there was so tight. This is in the ground. And I went, to, now imagine, this is screwed in and you got four of these things screwed in. Well, this bottom part, I hammered into the ground with a rubber mallet. Up to about here is where I hammered it in. Now, when you go to take it out, it's pretty snug in here. So I shook it like this and pulled up. And guess what happened? This top piece right here, of course, not going to do it now. <laughs> this pulled out and broke this wire. But the reason the wire broke, another reason the wire broke is very cold solder joint at the, at the SO239 here. So needless to say, I took this off. I put a new piece of wire on it. I shoved it back up and out the top and soldered it to this piece again. So now we got good solder joints on it. That does not take away from the performance of this antenna. I have to admit this is a very good antenna for the price for 158 bucks on, uh, see here's what's happening now. I'm trying to unscrew this and this piece is turning in the collar. You gotta hold this when you unscrew this. This is very flimsy here. I would highly suggest, and I may do this myself, I'm gonna drill a hole through here and tap that and put a screw in there to keep these two pieces together because gluing it or I don't they had nothing in there to hold it together. So they could put a screw in here into the plastic piece inside. That'll keep it from moving. Also the cold solder joint on here and cold solder joint on here was not a help. That came, the wire pulled right out as soon as it disconnected. But I wanted to let you know that, buyer beware. It's worth 158 bucks on Amazon. It is not perfect, but it's damn good. And the antenna worked great on 15 meters. I didn't even have to use the coil, as you'll see in the video. Catch you later. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Mike, KO4PDI. You'll never guess where I am. Princess Place Preserve. My favorite park. And guess what I'm doing today? I'm playing Poda. I'm doing some parks on the air with some, uh, got my go box here, got my 15 meter setup. I was just talking to the activity group. That worked out really nice. And right now I'm on 21383. That's where I am uh, contacting the group that's doing the activity today. Uh, in a minute, I'm gonna start doing some uh, parks on the air but what I'm doing is I'm testing a new antenna have you ever heard of the JCP 12 it has this coil on it where you can adjust up and down depending on the band well right now I'm on 15 meters don't even need this right now I have the antenna hooked up out here in the field I'll show it to you um, this is only the first time I'm using this antenna to activate so I'm hoping it's it's a good setup uh, it's the JCP 12 antenna let's see if i can flip this camera around all right here is the antenna we'll zoom right in there are four poles that is on a ground spike 
The gray wire is the counterpoise that comes with it. And uh, it's multiple pieces of wire on that. You could separate them and have individual counterpoises going up. But if you notice, normally at the top of these four black sections, you would have a coil and then a whip. Well, with 15 meters, I don't need the coil or LA, and I have the whip extended all the way. So with the counterpoise on there, I have my radio and everything set up back there at the gazebo. And we can go take a look at that real quick. I'm enjoying a fine uh, Rocky Patel cigar while I'm here. I like doing that. And uh, here you can take a look at the back of my go box. I actually have a duplexer in there that splits out two meters and 70 centimeters to this antenna connection. And this is the HF connection. This is the connection that's hooked up to the Zygu amplifier that's right here. If you look around the front, I can show you the front of this setup. You'll see the Zygu amplifier. Let me see if it's reversed. All right, this is the Zygu amplifier. And I'm putting out about three watts from this radio. This is the ICOM 705. Three watts from here into here, this amplifies it to about, oh, I don't know. Let's put it on uh, ready. If I key to mic, got 4.3 watts going in, 73 watts coming out. Um, works great. I love this little setup. It's a lot of fun. This is the activity group page over here on my iPad. You can see that. That is hfqso.com. You can go there and see who's participating and where they're at. They actually do four different bands. They start out on 17 meters, then they go up to 15 meters, then they go to 12 meters, then they go to 10 meters. So from about 1730 UTC till uh, 2015 UTC, there's an activity group going on. You could jump on and you just give your call sign and your location and people respond and give you a signal report. Uh, let's put this back to single sideband. All right, that's on single side. I don't hear anybody now. I think they're done already. But that's all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start doing parks on the air now anyway. So, all right. So there's, that's where I am. That's what I'm using. And you kind of got a nice idea. It's a gorgeous day. It's about 69, 68 degrees. A little breeze blowing. So that's why I got the sweatshirt on. Keeps the neck warm. Uh, literally absolutely gorgeous out here. Going that direction about mm, 600 yards and you're in the intercoastal waterway. So you could see the barrier islands out there right by marine land in Palm Coast, straight out that way. And uh, this park is my favorite place. I love coming here. So, hey, come back often and uh, let's see what we can do as far as an activation now. I've gotten three contacts and they were all parked to parks. So now I'm working on bringing in seven more over the air. Let's see how I make out. All right, wish me luck. Kilo Oscar 4, Papa Delta India, KO4 PDI is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? Kilo Oscar 4, Papa Delta India is this frequency in use? Nice one to one SWR, which is good. Okay, we're on 21.2. That's I heard Victor Echo out there. Can you come back again? Wow, you're way down in the mud and there's noise. There's QRM like crazy. I can't make out what you're saying. Let's try that again. I got my noise blanker in now. Maybe I'll be able to hear you better. Try again. Victor Alpha 7 Hotel Uniform Mike. Did I get that right, Brent? All right. I hear you coming all the way down from British Columbia, Canada. Wonderful. I got you in the book. You're like a 5'2", 5'2". He's got me at 3.5. 
73 Kilo Oscar 4, Papa Delta India, parks on the air. KO4 PDI CQ, parks on the air. I got a Papa Japan 2, November Delta to be Jeffrey. Is that correct? Wow, you're 5 9 to Central Florida right now. Thanks a lot for the QSO. Have a great day. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. 7 3, KO 4 PDI, CQ Parks on the Air. I got Whiskey Something Zero, come back again three times, with, phonetically. All right, is that Dennis in Kansas? Excellent. All right, I got you. You're about a 5 3, 5 3 to Central Foxtrot Lima. All right, man, you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks for hunting me down. You have a great day, 73. Not bad, though. We got the island of Curacao. If I go to a map, let's see where that is. That's off the coast of South America. That was great. Kilo Mike 4, India Alpha Juliet. Kilo Mike 4, India, Alpha, Juliet, Robert in Virginia. My God, I, it was complete silence, and then all of a sudden you came through at a 5'9 plus 20. You sound great, man. Uh, Roger, Roger. Uh, Kilo Oscar 4, Papa Delta, India. We were at 5'7 in Northern Virginia. Name is Bob. I appreciate the video. Who is this? So thanks for this one. Hey, Roger. 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 Hey, 73, Merry Christmas, have a Happy New Year. I may be out here on Christmas Day, I'm not sure. I only got plans for Christmas Eve, so I might even come out Christmas Day, but thanks a lot for hunting me down and thanks for the cue, so Merry Christmas. Kilo Charlie 3, Lima, Quebec, Delta. Is that Christopher in Delaware? QSL, QSL, I got you 5-3 to Central Foxtrot, Lima. Merry Christmas to you too. Thank you for hunting me down. KO4 PDI 73. Merry Christmas. Whiskey 5, Tango X ray. Whiskey 5, Tango X ray. This is Kilo Oscar 4, Papa Delta Indy. You're coming into Florida. Oh, not bad, Robert. You're coming from Texas. That's about a 5'8. Uh, 5'8 five, eight, five, eight to Central Fox Trot Lima. Yeah, Roger, Roger. I don't think you've got the call right. The uh, call is Whiskey, Whiskey 5, Tango X ray. Again, Whiskey, Whiskey 5, Tango X ray. Double Whiskey. Uh, got you about a 5, 6, 5, 6 into North Texas. It's a little QSB. Yeah, I got a little QSB too, but you're coming in 5 9 now. Whiskey, Whiskey 5, Tango X ray. Excellent. I got you now, the correct call sign. Thank you. Roger, Roger. Hey, thanks for putting me up. Happy holidays. I'm fine. Sounds great. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, 73, KO4 PDI calling CQ, CQ Parks on the air. Parks the Park, Kilo Charlie 1, the best Delta, New New, Parks the Park. Kilo Charlie 1, Quebec Delta Zulu, that would be James in Rhode Island. James, you're coming in a 5-9, man. What's your park number? Hey, Roger, Roger, you're 5-9 also, and my park is Kilo 0516, 0516 in Rhode Island, girl. All right, that's Citrus Point National Wildlife Refuge. Beautiful. I am in Park Kilo, 8367, Pelsier Creek State Conservation Area. Hey, Roger, Roger. I'm happy to see you Thank you very much. I hope you have a great afternoon. I appreciate you. I the park. That is 73. 73, buddy. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And you made 10 for me. I'm just going to go for one or two little more for insurance. But thank you very much. You gave me the activation. Thank you, brother. Kilo Kilo 7, Charlie, Juliet, Victor, Stacy in Montana. Hey, Stacy, you're coming in about a 5'6, five, 5'6, six, five, six, Central Florida. QSL, QSL, the 5'6, I have you a 4x5, 4x5 up here in Montana. QSL, QSL, hey, listen, you have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year, and thank you for hunting me down 73, KO4 PDI. Thanks for taking my call. Have a great time in the park, and you have a great holiday season as well. 73. 73, KO. 
Well, I hope you guys are enjoying uh, my little Parks on the Air excursion here. Uh, I gotta stay a little longer. I gotta finish my cigar. Then, before, then I'll pack it all up and head home. <clears throat> I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you're getting ready for Christmas and you're all excited. And uh, you're gonna enjoy your family or friends or food. There'll be a lot of food, we know that. I went to uh, Wisconsin for Thanksgiving and I did a bunch of uh, ham radio stuff when I was up, up in uh, Wisconsin. Hamcation in a couple of months. February, we got Hamcation, you coming? I will be there with all the YouTube guys and uh, be going around interviewing people, probably interviewing more of the uh, fans. If you see me out there, all right, remember this word, extravaganza. You come to me and you say the word extravaganza, there may be something in it for you. Got that? The word is extravaganza. I'll tell you where that came from. Years ago, the first time I went to go see Letterman in New York City live, he came out before the show and he said, listen, when I'm on stage and the show starts, if I ever say the word extravaganza, I want you all to go crazy. So you think that's, that makes no sense. Well, that was the point. It doesn't make sense. So the, the audience at home is watching it and he says, you know, we got a really big extravaganza tonight. And the entire audience goes berserk, screaming, yelling, clapping as loud as they can. And he just busts out laughing. So then he keeps talking, doing his monologue and he says the word again, and again, the audience goes berserk. So can you imagine if you were watching this at home, what is the reaction to you that you're having? Because you're sitting there looking at what, what's so big about the word extravaganza? <laughs> it was just a joke he was playing on the home audience. I thought it was amazing. Letterman, in the beginning, Letterman had, was genius. He was very good. As a matter of fact, when Johnny Carson retired, he didn't want Jay Leno to take his place. He wanted David Letterman to take his place. So he was mad at uh, NBC also. And for the rest of Johnny Carson's life, I don't know if you knew this, he used to send jokes into David Letterman. And after Johnny Carson passed away, Letterman came out to do his show and every single joke he told that night was written by Johnny Carson. It was absolutely the best tribute you could give to a great interviewer who Johnny Carson was. And if you're anybody's my age, I'm 69, if you're around my age, you got to see that, and it's absolutely hilarious. So, little trivia there while we're waiting for some contacts on FT8. So, uh, hey, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you have a very merry and happy Christmas. And remember, this is Kilo Oscar for Papa Delta India, reminding you, have fun with your ham radio. Do not let it get to you. And uh, I can highly recommend this antenna. It's doing really good. So. Uh, Take care, everybody. Have a very Merry Christmas. I will see you look forward after Christmas into the next year, starting in January, every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, which I believe is 2300 UTC, but I don't have a clock to prove it right now. But I will be doing a live podcast every Wednesday, live on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, X. It'll be live on all of them at the same time. And uh, my first, one of the first guests I'm gonna have is Vern Six, which will be on uh, the second Wednesday in January. The first Wednesday in January, I'm still working on it. I'm trying to get my Elmer and his wife to come on because they're the reasons I do this. They're the reasons I have a YouTube channel. They're the reasons why I'm so into ham radio the way I am because Jim, my Elmer, ND1C, inspired me and told me, have a resident antenna, have a resident antenna. He couldn't say it enough. Uh, yes, I have a tuner in his Zygo amplifier, but I don't even need it. It's, it's doing one-to-one -one right now. So the tuner's not even doing anything. And it's, I'm putting in 3.6 watts into the, ra into the amplifier and uh, about 70 watts is coming out on FT8. So come and get me, look for me. <clears throat> Until the next time we meet, I'm gonna say Kilo Oscar for Papa Delta India. Remember, ham fun. Have fun with your ham radios. Don't let personalities and dis, dis, I don't know, personalities and uh, thoughts of uh, politics that skews your vision. Don't let that get in the way. Meet people, talk to people, have fun with people, have, have a great time with them. We can all relate, we all enjoy ham radio, so let's all enjoy ham radio and not get into the politics of it. 
All right. KO4 PDI 73, you take care.